Hello everyone, I'm Rodney Reynolds and today I'm looking at a new Wi-Fi router from Amped Wireless. This is their AC1750. The model number is RTA1750. Let's have a closer look. First, let's start on the outside. The box is your typical white, green, black Amped Wireless theme. Works very well. Lots of information on the box, pictures as well as features and specifications. Inside of the box, they have a CD and on this is really just documentation and an installation video. They have this little card. You can write down all the information about the router, like for example, the SSIDs and the keys and whatnot, handy little tool. Also, speaking of tools, this is nice. The Wi-Fi and Linux tool. You can get this for smartphones and tablets as well for Windows. Limited warranty information and just a quick startup guide. It comes in this environmentally friendly packaging material and the Wi-Fi router is right at the top with two cables already attached. The blue one goes to the modem and the gray one goes to the PC. Just underneath are three antennas. And by the way, connect these before powering the unit on. And here is the power adapter. So let's first connect the antennas and they just simply screw in like so and you can adjust them to the position that you like for best coverage. First let's get the specifications out of the way then I'll have a closer look at the router and finally have a look at all of the different settings. The wireless standard for this router is 802.11 A, B, G, N as well as AC. The frequency band is 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz but I can do it simultaneously. Now the wireless speed of course is going to vary. It depends on how far you are away from the router, what's in the middle, and so on. But 2.4 gigahertz, both for RX and TX, is 450 megabits per second. And for 5 gigahertz, it is a blazing fast 1300 megabits per second, again for RX and TX. Lots of amplifiers inside this baby. You have got 12 in total. Three of those are 2.4 gigahertz amplifiers. Three are five gigahertz amplifiers, and the other six are low noise amplifiers. As for security, you've got WEP, WPA, WPA2, WPA mixed, and WPS. For access, well, any specific day and time. The wireless coverage, you can adjust from 15% all the way up to 100%. This could come in handy, like for example, if you don't want it spreading outside of your home, like going into a neighbor's property or something like that. And it's also adjustable individually for 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz networks. And if you have your friends over, you can set up guest networks up to eight supports, wireless multimedia, smart firewall, SPI, as well as NAT or NAT. Parental controls like website blocking. You can also do Mac and IP filtering, as well as quality of service or QoS and IP version 6 support. Now let's have a closer look at the RTA 1750. I think one of the things you'll notice first are the three large high power antennas. These are up to 5 dBi. This router should give you two to three times the coverage of a standard cheap O router. Now the name AC1750 or RTA 1750. Where does the 1750 come from? Well, if you remember, you can do 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz networks simultaneously. So 2.4 gigahertz is 450 and the 5 gigahertz is 1300. Add them together and you've got 1750. At the top of the router is their logo, amped wireless ventilation, and lots of LEDs. On the left, you've got power. This is a 5 gigahertz, 4 gigahertz status LEDs, and so on. Now, you might be thinking, well, if you have this in your bedroom and you're sleeping, these white LEDs could be very bright, and they are, but they have an LED button on the back, so you can turn them off. At the front of the router is extra ventilation. At the bottom, there's more ventilation plus two rubber feet for mounting it horizontally, but you can mount this to the wall if you wish. Notice the sticker, very informative. You've got the model on this, serial number, MAC address, the WPS pin, and all kinds of other information that will help you set up the router, like for example, login settings and Wi-Fi settings and so on. And 
finally, at the back is where you attach those three antennas. Here's where the power adapter gets connected. Two buttons, one is for power, the other for the LEDs. A USB connection for storage. Here's where the modem gets connected. You've got four gigabit LAN ports, a WPS button, and a reset button. Setup is really easy. First, you of course need to connect the router and the modem and then open up pretty much any web browser and in the address bar type in either setup.ampedwireless.com or 192.168.3.1 and then it will take you to the wizard. Click next. It will automatically try and detect the connection. If it fails, no problem. You can go ahead and manually configure it. You'll have to wait some time and it should say successfully connected to the internet. Then you'll need to personalize it with the Wi-Fi settings for the 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz bands and then go ahead and assign a password to the router. Now let's go through the settings. First of all, you've got this dashboard and it's great because it's a quick visual representation as to what's going on. As you can see at the top everything is honky dory the router is connected to the internet below that you've got wi-fi status guest networks connected devices parental controls and device status now there's tons and tons of options within the five gigahertz wi-fi settings you've got basic settings security settings advanced settings wi-fi protected setup wireless coverage and access control within the 2.4 gigahertz wi-fi settings again you've got basic settings security settings advanced settings wi-fi protected setup wireless coverage and access schedule within network settings you've got lan settings wan settings as well as advanced settings a bunch of smart features. You can block websites, MAC address filtering, and IP filtering. Also, this is handy to have USB storage, local sharing, FTP server, number of options within firewall settings, port filtering, port forwarding, DMZ, virtual LAN, and denial of service, as well as quality of service, routing setup, and management. Now in management, you've got system status, network statistics, DNS, this dynamic DNS settings, system clock, and system logs. Now, updating the firmware on this router is super easy. Generally, you'd have to go to their website, find the model, download the new firmware, then go ahead and go back in here and then update it. But with this, all you need to do is click on check now. It will check if there's new firmware, it will download and install it. There's save and reload settings, and finally the password, which you should change, and of course, this is the login password for the router. Now this might not be the fastest Wi-Fi AC router that is on the planet, and maybe it doesn't have all of the features that some of the more expensive ones have, but it is reasonably priced as well, super easy, to configure and I like the overall styling on it you can have it remember horizontal or mount it to a wall and I love the fact that you can turn these LEDs off that would be perfect if you have this in a place where you're sleeping like your bedroom now the big question here is how stable is the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz networks and what kind of range can you expect from this wi-fi router well connectivity and reliability of both networks is rock solid and it does give you an exceptional range if you have a piece of property that's 20 by 40 or 60 or even a little bit larger than that put this on the main level it will reach upstairs down the basement and outwards you should have no problem connecting to any device it is reasonably priced as well overall this is a kick-ass product until next time take care